it would be a great mistake for Kim Jong-un to think he could play Donald Trump. With the summit between President Trump and Kim Jong-un in question, Vice President Mike Pence issued a hard line Monday night. The U.S. would not change course regardless of whether there's a meeting. This president has made it clear that we will not tolerate North Korea possessing nuclear weapons. South Korean President Moon Jae-in arrived in Washington last night on a mission to get the summit back on track. This afternoon, he'll meet with President Trump, who is reportedly having second thoughts and was upset when the North Koreans warned they might pull out of the summit, which was their idea. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin denied the president is considering the same. I don't think the president gets cold feet about anything, so I think as the president has said, Right now, it's still on. North Korea is scheduled to destroy its nuclear test site this week, with international observers and journalists expected to watch. One of many gestures by Kim that convinced President Trump that the North Korean leader was serious about denuclearization. North Korea typically plays this coercive diplomacy game. Former CIA analyst Jung Pak said Kim's threat to pull out of the summit is just part of his game plan. That statement about threatening to pull out um, suggests to me that um, Kim is increasingly confident about um, being able to drive the terms and the conditions of the summit with President Trump.